Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4 Old World Blues! Playing with the Lost Expedition mod for the Old World Blues mod. We have conquered Boulder, Colorado once again. We are looking to move our capital. Albeit, the capital being right on the border of a potential enemy may not be the smartest thing to do in the world, but alright. We're also getting to experience the refugee mechanic here and actually start assimilating some population, which is proving to be pretty cool as we gradually get these guys taken care of. It is slowly building my stability back up. Yeah, we have a lot of refugees compared to our overall core population. The larger the na our nation is, the easier it will be for me to um, start assimilating larger groups of uh, people, obviously. Damage assessment. Ah, that's what we need in order to try and repair the, um, the Zax computer, I believe. At least that's what sort of was implied to me. So I think we need to get this first, because remember, we have a limited amount of time to try and repair the Zax computer before it cannibalizes itself. So the faster we can react on this, the better. No idea what's going to be needed once we do have the ability to repair the computer. I don't know if it takes manpower, if it takes equipment, I have no idea. We may even have to fight a small civil war and try to get the thing under control. Don't know, we're going to find out. But the sooner we do this, the better. We've got the right advisor and stuff. So let's just hold on to our resources and see what's going to be needed with this. I'm pretty sure the Hangdogs are about to kill the uh, the Warden of Denver, or Dog City. They're going to get this one back, probably. If they can just work their way into Dog City, they're going to win pretty much right off the bat. Uh, looks like stuff is happening down in Mexico. Fun. I wish I could assist you, Mr. Warden, but I can't. And I'm also pretty sure that it's my best advantage for you to die so that I can kill the Hangdogs myself. Colorado Springs, Colorado. I know about them. The Siege of Hidden Valley. Okay. I've been to Colorado Springs. I've been around a lot, actually. I've been talking to my wife, who uh, has not traveled a ton in her life, uh, especially around the U.S. And looking back at my childhood, my parents actually did prioritize us traveling around quite a bit. There goes the warden. So I've been around all over the place, between uh, a lot of the Southwest, plus New Mexico, Colorado, California, Texas, and all of that stuff, plus all up and down the East Coast, all the way up to, I think, Massachusetts, and that's about where I stopped. Plus a few places around Pennsylvania, Ohio. I've been up to Michigan, stayed there. Actually had uh, my first Valentine in uh, Michigan when I was in college. You know, stuff like that. I've been around, surprisingly. I've been around a little bit. Looking forward to getting a lot more... Um, looking forward to getting a lot more traveling in my lifetime. Anyway, all right. So just uh, three more days, and then we can go with the damage assessment over here. Come on. And... Dunskis. Okay. The old Zack. The really creative name our engineers came up with for the computer... Has seen better days, for sure. Its main generator is out of order, so it slowly sucks all the electricity from the facility's emergency generators. The data cannibalism that started two centuries ago got a lot worse, and if you can't run a reverse or save down what left, maybe it wouldn't be reversible. Our best already sat together and came up with a detailed paper and program to heal our little patient, but it'll take a lot of time and technology, not necessarily are in our hands. But we'll have to try it nonetheless. At least we could restart Zach's generator to save some time. So this increases. I now have two extra months to try and accomplish this. Let's see what is involved. Still don't see you. Rebuilding Ghoul Town. Wait, here we go. Attempt to repair the computer. Increases the duration by 30 days. Boulder Dome. Okay, so there's a lot we have to do here. The dome is our everything, our past, present, and future. It was our mission to get here. It is our duty to now use it every aspect it gives us and our future destiny to make it great again. And under the dome, there's a lot of secrets. So we can start manually deleting some files and such, which buys more time to repair. Disable unnecessary second, uh, secondary subroutines. Attempt to repair it. The decision cheaper and more often choosable than the rest, but not more effective. Yeah, relearn Ohm's Law, which buys us more time, and then fabricate new resistors. So it really comes down to how fast we can come up with political power. This isn't cheaper than the other options. I'm not sure this is actually better. Like, this is the same price, and it's 60 days instead of 30. I'm just saying, fabricating new resistors and stuff seems better. Well, we'll try for this. Maybe this one's faster to react. We have until January... No, I bet you it's now about March... He may, actually. May 2277. So I think a lot of our political power going forward is going to be spent just trying to fix the computer. We have to fix some fried circuits and stuff. We have to actually complete some of these first, as far as some simple circuitry and such. 
Amass backups. We haven't acquired any hollow disks. Whatever that is. I don't want to lose the research speed. That sucks. Let's attempt to relearn Ohm's Law. Looks like we do that automatically. Okay, so that's why it was at May. We've actually bought ourselves a lot more time. So now we're sitting at July. So... What do these take? Maybe we don't have to do these right away. I'm betting that actually these are national focuses. Assemble the databanks. Yeah. Decreases the duration a bit. Fabricate new boards. Restart the laboratories. Turn on the lights. Access the databanks. Events generator. Restart the lines. It seems like there's a lot we need to do along here if we want to fix the computer. So maybe we have to focus on this first, in which case I have to turn on the lights and access the databanks. But how does one access the databanks? Do that. Purchase hollow disks. I need 150,000 bottle caps. Like, that's obviously not happening. There's no way we're getting that much money. Huh. So, we gain temporary setback for 30 days. I have to have research things. These are electronics researches. Oh. Oh. I'm a fool. Okay. I'm sorry. It's not national focuses. It's stuff like this. The vacuum tubes. Oh, gosh. You're going to make me go all the way up to complicated cir uh, circuitry? That's going to take 2.7 years. We're going to be having some serious ahead of time penalties. I'm not sure I can do that. I mean, maybe I can, but it's going to be pushing it. Okay. Um, well, I don't want to decrease this if I don't have to. Then again, accessing it is the way that we restart the laboratories. But that's the penalty. If we do that, then we may not be able to repair the computer in time. Maybe I should have gone... Well... Remember at the very beginning of this campaign that there was the option to increase the amount of time we'd have to repair the computer by about a year. But it said that the cost would go up. Maybe we'd have to have research even more in order to actually finish this thing. Huh. Well, I don't think I'm going to access it right now, fun as that might be. I think instead we want to go focus on getting some additional workshops and such. But we obviously need to be focusing pretty heavily on getting more research. I'm glad that I actually started working on the vacuum tubes a little bit early. It does seem to me we need to get all the way to things like complicated circuitry. Which seems really hard. This would increase the duration by a lot. Simple, complicated, and miniaturized. Maybe it's not possible to stabilize the matrix. We need advanced circuitry for that. Maybe it's not possible to stabilize it all the way. Advanced circuitry. I'm, I'm, I would have to get five years to do that. I don't know if it's possible to build up enough time. We'd have to aggressively focus on this one. Very aggressively. Maybe we can't. Maybe it is not possible to repair the Zack's computer in time unless you take the third option. Or the extra three years instead of two years option. And the ahead of time bonus is what's going to kill me. Now, if we can find some stuff that lets me get some uh, electrical research ahead of time bonuses, that could be good. Turn on the lights. So here's the thing. This would reduce it by 60... This would take 60 days off. But accessing the databanks and turning on the lights... Is what we would need... No, I'm wrong. Yeah, never mind. No, no, no. Okay, I was thinking maybe those were going to lead to something that actually let me get more stuff up. Um, no, it's it's restart the laboratory. We can't do this until we have access to databanks and turned on the lights. I mean, the extra research slot is nice. The electronics research speed plus 5% is nice. Extra flat research speed plus 5% is nice. So I don't know the math on this one. If we focused on this first, would it surpass the fit the 60 days loss? Maybe. Time to learn Chinese. 
I forgot about that. I think that there's supposed to be like a whole load of Chinese ghouls over here in eastern Colorado for some reason. I don't really remember why that's the case. I don't know the story of it, but that's what it's supposed to be. Uh, we have a fair bit of equipment coming in here, um, but I think we're going to need more. That said, we could also go ahead and start building some gliders out. Kaisar's Legion is doing something. Don't drink the water, duly noted. Maybe we have to restart the laboratories. All right, we're going to try it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And I'm going to enjoy at least some research bonuses earlier. But I think we have to do these. I'm going to go ahead and... I want to do both of these probably at the same time. Just to get it out of the way. Or maybe it doesn't matter. What are the other options here? Compliance. Compliance. Manpower and compliance. Fun. Yeah, let's do a temporary setback. We're buying ourselves more time to work with. This is currently set all the way back to September of 2277. That's about a year and a half. A little less, actually. And we're about to reduce it further. Once I get up to 50 more political power, we go for another temporary setback. Of course, remembering that every time we reduce our research speed, we are making it harder to research all the electronics that we're going to need. This is weird. Not what I expected. Not what I expected at all. Huh. What else do we want? Uh, well, we're already working on some of those production things. Um, we could go for some more just raw efficiency cap and growth. Yeah, I think that's probably fine. Keep focusing on the industry. We're going to get that plant cultivation so we can start building up more of our population. We are currently sitting on, uh, let's see, about 2,300 refugees remaining. Which is certainly an improvement from where we were. So we've managed to get 1,200 or so more population. Yeah, I mean, the manpower is going up a little bit. Remember, we only get a percentage of population to then become a uh, functioning manpower. But still, every little bit counts. Every tiny little bit counts. And how are we doing on occupations? Compliance is going up. Not as fast as I would like it to be, perhaps, but it is going up. Hey, civilian factories. All right, so we need to build more of these. We'll build a couple here in chug water, I suppose. Um, I may want to save... Uh, I probably should build some here in Boulder, Colorado and stuff instead. Let's go ahead and build those up, actually. 50% infrastructure. It builds ever so slightly faster, and that's just part of the snowballing process. That's okay. So, is a lot of our remaining goal in this particular campaign going to be fixing the computer? Or conquest? Because I kind of prefer the conquest, if I'm being honest. We are no longer investing in the businesses, so now we are starting to build up some more um, bottle caps. If you can get enough bottle caps to buy some hollow discs, that'd be great. Turn on the lights. I have to research the advanced generator. So, I can't actually restart the laboratories yet anyway. I probably should have looked at that. Decrease duration by 120 days. No, I can't do that. Yeah, no, no, no. This this would just guarantee that I don't finish with the computer in time. I was kind of counting on getting to this. So I need advanced generators tech. Fun. Let's, um... Resource gain efficiency, radar station. Military service. I'm looking for anything that might give me a boost to electronics research. Um, hang on. Gosh dang it. Hit the right button, please. Research. Okay, building technology research speed. That's for power armor tech. It is possible to save it. It says National Spirit saved Zack's computer. Chinese power armor. Resistance target, no. We could have done this, it looks like. Whipped up the fear of the cowards, unlocks the repairs decision. This might have actually been better. A better electronics technology guy. Ah, if we actually had been bigots against the ghouls, maybe we could have had a chance. Fascinating. Now, it doesn't look like there's any national focuses that are getting me the research that I need. So if that's the case, um, I guess we might as well start getting some compliance in a few places. Start taking advantage of uh, the extra factories and resources and so on. Could be useful, I suppose. 
I imagine the author has to have tried this a few times and has found a way to make this feasible. I really hope I haven't already messed it up. It would really suck if I did. But we'll see. We'll start by getting this. Accept the lower research speed temporarily, just trying to get this technology done. It doesn't even matter if we get that far ahead of time, because like I can't even move on to the next tech for a while anyway. It would take 213 days to research because it's so far ahead of time. So like slowing down my research speed doesn't matter right now. It's not going to hurt me in any way. Petro Chico has been taken over. Fun. We need to figure out where the advanced generators are. Is that down here? Multi-purpose equipment? No. Basic generator, advanced generator. So we have to work to this tech to turn on the lights. Okay. And that's a year and a half ahead of time as well. Kind of awkward. Okay. Well, we got the vacuum tubes. Let's go ahead and start working on basic generators, working toward those advanced generators, so I'll be able to turn back on the lights, which will give me some more power stations, as well as open up the option to restart the laboratories and get a lot of that research speed, plus 10% extra for electronics. Could make a difference. Might. Uh, let's go ahead and... Disable the unnecessary secondary subroutines. We have the ability to improve the Zacks with the vacuum tombs now, so that would add on an extra 60 days, bringing up my duration to October of 2277. That's not fast enough, if I'm being honest. It's not fast enough. I really don't know how you're supposed to be able to do this because the ahead of time's penalty is so very strong. There is such an unbelievable ahead of time penalty there. I don't know. I really don't see how it's supposed to work, but we'll find out. Again, surely the author found multiple paths, and it's not like one secret path in order to be able to save the Zax computer. I assume. I could be wrong. Attempt to repair this. Oh, wait, we can do this multiple times? Ah, this might be the way that we save ourselves if we can do this several times. If we can do this multiple times, then it becomes a matter of getting enough political power to do this repeatedly and keep clicking the button. So it may just be that we're not going to get any meaningful amount of um, political power for a very long time. All the more reason we need to get our stability back up. Right? Let's see. We can go for the resource efficiency and stuff. No. Manpower, no. Arms workshop, maybe. Let's go for the uh, good news sent home and see if we can start building up that stability. Higher stability means more political power gain, I believe, and more political power gain could translate me late into me getting some additional repairs. So every month, we want to be able to click the button and just keep this ball rolling for a while. No longer have the temporary setbacks. We research slightly faster. Gotta get those advanced generators going. Lannis' cohort is getting to continue having some fun. Eh, it must be nice. I am envious. Let's train some additional troops. What do I not have any? Basic melee weaponry? Who says that it has to be melee? I'm pretty sure just simple infantry equipment would do the job. I'm out. I have no infantry equipment. Really? I should be producing a couple of guns per day. Is it all just going into uh, upgrades? It might be going to upgrades, actually. Oh, well, interesting. I think it's all just going to upgrades right now, based on what I'm seeing here. Yeah, we need a lot more infantry equipment. Fascinating. Okay, never mind. I guess we're not going to train up any more troops for a while. We could, but I guess I'm not going to. All right, a couple more days, and we can go ahead and improve the Zacks with a couple more vacuum tubes. Buying a little bit more time. I'm putting this guy on life support. I'm trying real hard to save this darn computer. I would love to go do things like this would open up the option to get me some extra compliance. That's what I would like. The Wither Dogs are feeling a lot happier all of a sudden, though. Very soon we're going to get these settlement guards, which makes my life a little bit easier. Yeah, so I guess we should focus some extra factories here on the pipe guns. Gliders? What do you do right now? You have a tiny bit of ground attack. Tiny bit. And a little air attack and agility. The twin mothers are fleeing to north after losing their war with Lanius. Okay. The twin mothers is actually another nation that I need to play sometime. Supposedly they're pretty fun. I think you can open up like another AI, like a Gaia AI or something like that that's supposed to be really powerful. Anyway. Let's see. It's going to take a long time for us to get back to the NCR. 
The Hangdogs have taken Robot City. The Hangdogs are easily my biggest threat. They have, potentially, a lot of troops. I do not. Hmm. Maybe instead of upgrades, um, what we should do here is say for... These guys, we'll make them the higher priority. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and train up, like, four more infantry. It's gonna take me a while to get enough equipment to get these guys fully supplied, but... We're gonna try for it, I think. Make them the higher priority, not not more uh, upgrades. Okay, so we'll have all that. Uh, we can go for the extra manpower. Don't need that. I think we go for the arms workshop so we can get some extra production. Basic generators are a month away, and once done, we make an immediate push for the advanced generators, which should time out pretty nicely with at least one more national focus. Then we can focus on turning on the lights. Do we have the option to upgrade the computer again? We do not. Could get more compliance. Honestly, as nice as compliance is, I don't see it as absolutely crucial. How's the uh, assimilation? We have more assimilation uh, refugees to assimilate because the hangdogs keep attacking people. So that keeps hurting my stability, but we're trying. Um, I could try to go for a, an assimilation program, which would speed things up, but... I really can't afford to lose any political power, I don't think. Pretty sure. National workspaces are done. Good. Uh, what else might I want, then? We're not that far ahead of time on some more tech. Energy cells reduce the population nomad uh, nomadicity. We could just start working on this. It's so far ahead of time that it's just not a very good use. Let's go for the uh, assimilation speed. I mean, we have extra research slots. What else am I going to do? 192 days is an unbelievably stupid amount of time, but... I think it's the only way that it's going to work. Like, we have to just accept that we're going to be grossly ahead of time. Unless I can find some way to get a boost. <laughs> Which I don't think that I can. And every little bit of extra research speed that I get just makes it a little bit easier to keep going. Hmm. Well, I still don't have the opportunity to repair again, so I think we wait on that. The city of Boulder, the city outside the dome. Let's find out what this does. Is it an upgrade? Can you get me an electronics ahead of time reduction by like two or three years? That'd be awesome. Let's do that. Resistance to occupation is a little on the high side. Basic generator tech is done, which means now we move for the advanced generators next. The Doinkus. It's 1.2 years ahead of time. Duly noted. What can you do? The research is necessary. The spice must flow. This is required. It's a lot of extra compliance we can get here. Quite a bit, actually. It's tempting. I would certainly love to have more compliance, but I'm not sure it's worth it right now. Uh, factories, how are we doing on those? We got five civilian factories right now. Managing to sit here at six production factories. I probably should not be building any more of these gliders. Hangdogs are attacking somebody else down here to the south. I'm a little concerned that they're gonna attack me soon. If they do, I think we may die. Ah, repair. Yes, do that. So we are able to continue doing those repairs. That's good. Let's go ahead and rebuild Ghoul Town. Just gets me an extra boost of manpower, and we're apparently getting enough uh, political power I can keep doing that. So I think that's okay. Weird, 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 weird. Um, over here, we're going to go ahead and assign a wing of gliders, of which I don't have very many. But a few of you guys over here, for example. Protecting this area. Ah. Could be useful, as long as we don't have any air accidents or anything and lose any. I think that's fine. So we have bought ourselves time till... December of 2277. we got just over a year to go right now. And it's going to take me not quite a year to get simple circuitry, which is going to be at least another boost. We can delete secondary files again. Oh, well, that's interesting. Okay, so if you have enough political power, you can do some of these again. 
Oh, okay. So it literally is a matter of having enough political power. Between the cheap repair plus deleting factories, which reduces research speed, which sucks, but between all of those, we can keep buying ourselves a few months. The problem is these take a lot more political power. Now I'm seeing why the, um, the cheaper repair option at 25 is better, because you're not losing research speed and it is in fact cheaper. All right, the city outside the dome, Boulder, sometimes referred to by the locals as Stone City, found itself rapidly growing due to the rarest reason the city has grown before, natural disaster. The Rocky Mountains Arsenal's toxic waste containing unit has been damaged and through a leak, a great poisonous cloud killed large amounts of people in Denver also known as Dog City. The military, while firstly tried to cover up the incident, they never released the exact statistics regarding the disaster, later decided to give a present to Colorado as an apology. They presented the Dome, the city of future, a research facility that will bring prosperity to the city, which inevitably happened to Boulder. At this point, Boulder was nothing more than a suburban district of Denver, a university city, if you will, where the shops, homes, and everything else was offered for the students of tomorrow. Then the war happened, gain a new event, the remnants of past glory. Boulder has destroyed to smithereens by the nuclear fire, while Dome, the reason this peaceful little settlement became a target, withstand the nuclear fallout. It was built that way. 200 years later, the city itself, still full of loot, as the radiation only slowly decayed in the region. Probably the ruins of the old arsenal didn't help the problem either. God, the, the, the grammar does need a bit of work here. Before we have come, a pack of ghouls tried to pick it clean, slowly, day by day, only spend a couple of quarters between the ruins, just to get by, and don't get a feral glower. Who was too brave, ultimately, have been exiled into the lands of the Luminous Ones. Now we have everything to clean the city off the radiation and hollow it from its hidden treasures, gain five building slots, and a bunch more resources. Well, that's nice. Okay, no, I mean, I, I, I do like that. Republic Rising can form Colorado. Sounds nice. Also doesn't sound necessary this moment. Let's go for some more compliance. So I just want to save up as much political power as possible, huh? We need to find ways to get more of this. I mean, our stability is going up. If only I had focused on getting any advisor that could have gotten me more political power per day, this would have been easier. Agnes is not helping matters. So how long does it take for the repair to come back? Because timing all of that is going to end up being very important. Methinks. Can't continue training these guys until we get some more stuff. Rioters? Oh, fun. Can delete the secondary files. Is it once every two months we can press the button? I don't know, but it kind of feels like we have to do this now, right? Even if it is going to reduce my time by a bit, which sucks, I feel like we have to. Uh, do we want to go for quality or quantity of our army? Supply usage, cell capacity, robots get extra breakthrough, hardness, armor for all army units, cell usage, factory output, factory output. I mean, yeah, quantity would let me feel a load of troops. Um, I'm not sure that we're going to have the manpower to support it, though, so I think we'll go for quality. See how well that works for me. And yeah, we've got at least a bit of time to try and build back up to 25 to repair once again. I think I want to I wanna pay attention to the next time we finish a repair and see how much time we actually get. Like, from the repair until the time that it comes back, how long does it take? An intel network or send a caravan. Send a caravan carrying 4,000 bottle caps. Retrieve a lot more. Oh my god, yes, do that. Send a trade caravan. Remember, if we can get ourselves a stupid amount of money, yeah, we get 26,000 per quarter. If we can get a stupid amount of money, we have the option to purchase hollow disks. But I need a load. An absolute load of bottle caps. So as long as we keep doing this, whenever the option pops up, maybe we will be able to, in fact, do that. And with the hollow disks to buy some backups, that would buy me another 120 days. That strikes me as somewhat significant, I think. At least somewhat. 94 more days until we can finish this. Let's make sure we try to time this out. So that as soon as the advanced generators are done, we can turn back on the lights and then go for the extra research. Because that 10% is what's going to be pretty crucial by the end of this. Open mic at Glowbugs Grove. So what? We're just going to give them open mic night? 
you know, there's some entertainment, some local stand-up colony and comedy. Uh, it sounds to me like that's what the ghouls are asking for. They got good taste. I appreciate it. All right, open mic night is done. Home for the ghouls. This just gives me an advisor. I don't need the advisor right now. I can't get the political power to afford it. Let's go for the free intelligence agency. That seems pretty good. No longer take the effects of the uh, un the setback. We have the unnecessary secondary subroutines, which by the way is misspelled, I just realized. There's supposed to be an O over here, but okay, I'm getting a little bit nitpicky. Nonetheless, okay. We might be able to save the computer, but it's going to be close. I don't know what the benefits are of saving the computer, but given how much we're having to invest in it, I'm gonna guess it's a lot. I'm hoping we get a lot of benefit out of it. And once we have a super AI computer working for us, we can conquer the entirety of Colorado and form a new republic. That'd be awesome. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.